so that you guys can have something to refer back to. All right, so we just did 40 jumping jacks. Now we're gonna do 25 mountain climbers. Now, you're not gonna count one leg as one and then the other leg as two. You're gonna pick one leg and that's gonna be how you count your repetitions. So you're gonna do 25 mountain climbers. So you're gonna count your right leg 25 times, all right? So counting your right leg 25 times, 25 mountain climbers, ready, set, go. So as you're doing these, make sure that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Hips are in line with your shoulders and ankles. Good job. All right, now remember, when it comes competition time and you're trying to go as quickly as you possibly can, you can't be like wearing socks on carpet, your feet just sliding around like you're on ice. Um, can't be doing that. You got to come prepared. You got to have some grippy socks, all right, like those hospital old man socks, all right? You got to have some grippy shoes on a good floor. We're not trying to be slow on this competition, all right? All right, so 25 mountain climbers. Now you've got 40 split jacks. 40 split jacks, those are like the long striders. I'll demonstrate those over here. All right, so if your left leg is forward, your right arm is gonna be up, alternating. Every time your right arm goes up, count as one. All right, so 40 split jacks, ready, go. Good, so remember your legs aren't straight. You're landing in a high lunge position. So high lunge like this. There we go, good job, Litterans. Good correction. Yeah, Sarah, I'm sorry. might be out of this competition. Very good, so we did our 40 split jacks. Now, next up, we'll do 25 push-ups. Now, they're pretty particular about how these push-ups are going to be done. Uh, so, again, make sure hands are below your shoulders. I'll demonstrate the exercise for you. So, you have to demonstrate what's called a hand release. I'll need to lower this a little bit more, All right? So when you do your push-up, you'll go down and then bring your hands off the ground and then push up. Down, release your hands, push up. Down, release your hands, push up. All right? So every time your chest has to touch the ground, you have to bring your hands off the ground and then drive through. All right, so that is 25 push-ups. Ready, go. Um, let's see. Ashley, you don't have to do the push-ups if these bother your shoulder. All right, so Ashley, if you feel pain at any point trying to do this push-up, please do not do it. I appreciate you attempting to do it, all right? You can actually do some of your shoulder exercises right now if you'd like to. Good form, Sonica. Good form, Sophia Guerra. Good form, Gav Gav. Good form, Swimmer Gavin. Good job, Peggy. Good job, Sarah. Good work. All right. Let's see. So our next exercise are squats. So when we do these squats, your arms are going to be out here. Um, they're also really particular about how you do these. Your 
hips need to sink below your knee. So your hip line goes below your knee line. Um, I'll show you uh, from here. So I'll lower this. Uh, the key, we want to make sure that our feet are just about shoulder width or a little wider. Toes pointed slightly out, right? Your arms are pointed out. Drop your hips below your knee line and then back up. So from the side, my feet are a little outside shoulder. Toes pointed slightly out. Drop my bottom below my knee line and then back up. All right? It so says high knees are after the push-ups. Oh, my bad. High knees. All right. Thank you, Swimmer Gavin. High knees, you're going to touch your knees to your hands. So you'll put your knees out. I mean, your hands out. All right. Counting your right leg 40 times. Ready? Go. So your knees have to touch your hands. Good job. It's a nice day outside today. I'm gonna go for a little run. Cause my knees don't feel like death anymore. So yesterday, or yeah, last night I was holding baby Eleanor and I was like, she was, she was so sweet. She was so peaceful. Baby Eleanor was sleeping and she just had this like serene look on her face, just eyes closed, smiling, just like that. And then she opens her eyes. She looks up at me. She smiles. It was so sweet. I was like, my daughter is, is just so precious. And then while she's smiling, looking up at me, so dear, she goes, Bleh! and just spits up all over me. Gosh, I had to change shirt and pants. It was that much. Babies are disgusting. All right. Um, let's see. All right. So now you have these squats. All right. So 30 squats it is. 30 squats. Ready? Go. Make sure your bottom dropping below your knees. All right. Adam, we got to go down a little bit further. Good job, Witterins. Good job, Victoria. Good job, Avita. Good job, Gab Gab. Good job, Swimmer Gavin. Might need to go a hair lower, Swimmer Gavin. There you go, good. Good job, very good correction. 30 squats. Good job, Pulak. Good job, Sonica. Very good. So you got 30. All right, got some people finishing up their squats. Now, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach you a trick to um, squatting lower. So if some of you guys are having trouble getting your hips below your knees, um, there's a nice little trick. I think I showed you guys my weightlifting shoes. So when I did the, uh, the shoe challenge, the mobility challenge, where you had to roll like all the way around with the shoe balanced on your foot, uh, I used my weightlifting shoe because it's really flat. But the other thing about those weightlifting shoes is that the heel is elevated. So it allows you to have greater range of motion. So like the front of the shoe where the, the ball of the foot and the toes are is like this, but the back, the heel is raised up a little bit higher. So you're able to drop a little bit lower. So if you have trouble getting low enough for these squats to count, here's what you can do. You can grab a book, all right? Actually, you'll need two books, all right? So you'll put the book just underneath your heel like this. You'll put another book of the same size underneath this heel. So that way, it's much easier to drop down with the elevated heel, all right? So you'll need two books underneath your heels, all right? Those will help you drop your hips if you're struggling to get to that range of motion, all right? That's a pro tip for us trying to really win this competition, all right? 
Um, all right, half jacks. Half jacks, if a jumping jack is bringing your arms over your head, a half jack is no arms over your head. So your feet are just gonna jump out and in, all right? So 40 half jacks, ready, go. I would just hold my hands like this. Yep, there you go. Good job. Good work. 40 half jacks. Good work. I like it. Good form. This dry land is brought to you by Bi Antioxidant Cocoa Fusion. This is coconut with pineapple. Pulak loves this stuff. Um, all right, so very good. Next exercise, we'll do 40 CrossFit sit-ups. So let me demonstrate real quick. You're gonna sit on the ground, much like you're about to do the butterfly stretch. So we'll go from the side here. All right, so just like you're about to do the butterfly stretch, your feet are going to be together. You will crunch up and touch your feet. That's one. That's two. All right. So from the front, feet are together. Knees are outside. Crunching up, touching the feet. All right. So 40 CrossFit sit-ups. Ready? Go. Good job. And burpees are next. Good, 40 sit ups. Good job. All right. Looks like people are starting to finish up. All right, last exercise, all right? We'll do 25 burpees, all right? Now there are three key things that you have to remember for your burpee form, all right? Burpee is really a formless exercise, all right? But there's like three conditions that you have to satisfy. So one, your chest has to touch the ground, all right? Number two, when you jump up, your feet have to leave the ground. And number three, your hands have to go above your head. Um, so when you do your jump, you don't have to jump as high as you can. I don't need to see your 30 inch vertical, all right? Like if I could slide a piece of paper under your jump, then we're good, all right? Um, but also hands don't need to go all the way up in the streamline. You just need to jump up to where your hands are above your head. All right, so I'll demonstrate real quick. All right, so. You will jump down to where your chest touches the ground. And then when you jump up, your feet have to just leave the ground. But also on that same jump, when you're jumping up, your hands have to go above your head, okay? So satisfy those three conditions. It doesn't matter how you get up off the ground. You don't have to do a strict form push up. All right, you can like go on one knee and stand up, uh, even though it's not the fastest. All right, so 25 burpees, ready, set, go.
25 burpees. Good. Remember, don't have to jump super high off the ground. Just got to get your feet off it and hands above your head. Very good. So let's see. Sarah, we're going to have a conversation while they're doing their um, burpees. Okay. Um, did, did you live near that town in Nova Scotia? Um, I was pretty close, but my dad's family was even closer, and I've like done triathlons there. Really? That's, that was so sad. I'm sorry that that happened. Yeah. I met one of the people, too, the, one of the Mounties that died. Really? Yeah, I have a picture with her somewhere. Wow. That's, a, that's really sad. I'm sorry. Me, too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's. It's that's, like really rare because nothing like that happens. There. I in yeah in Canada you just you never hear of things like that happening. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen again for a long, long time. Yeah. Bye, I mean to be a downer. All right, very good. All right. So great, great job on those exercises. All right. Um, so again, to reiterate, uh, we will do dry land as normal throughout this week. We'll incorporate some of these exercises and some of these patterns so that we can practice them. Uh, so when it comes to the challenge, we'll be prepared to do them. Um, but next week, you guys will um, video yourselves or I will verify it here on Zoom uh, that you guys are doing the appropriate form for each exercise uh, and then we'll also get your time rounded to the nearest second uh, and we'll record that so throughout next week you can do the set as many times as you'd like to try and get faster and faster and faster and faster um, all right so remember I am all about form, like that is my MO. But when it comes to a competition like this, we throw form a little bit out the window and we look to satisfy the conditions that are put on us uh, rather than doing like one to two seconds on the way down and one to two seconds on the way up for squats, which is what we would normally do, all right? We're just trying to hammer out those squats as quickly as we can. Um, are there any questions about the competition? There's still a couple of things that we're trying to figure out to make sure that it's streamlined for everybody. Any questions? All right, that's good enough for me. Um, so two things for our um, social media challenges, our dry land challenges. One, you'll see on the uh, Instagram, that Mallory from the Mackerel Group has challenged the team to the handstand challenge, all right? So you're in a handstand with your feet against uh, the wall or a door. The goal or the objective is to put on a t-shirt while you are in that handstand position. So you can go on to the pages, check out what I'm talking about. Now, fellas, please do not send me a video in which you do not already have a t-shirt on. All right, I will delete it. All right, wear a tank top if you have to. All right, wear one of the, like a dry fit t-shirt and just put on a looser shirt over it. Um, so that, that is a challenge. All right, that's gonna be a tough one. Uh, the other one is that we are also, RSA as a whole is looking for your best sidewalk art or chalk art. Um, I got an awesome one from the winterins in which they are interactive in their uh, chalk art. So it can be swimming related. It can be RSA related, something motivational. Um, let's see. Somebody sent me one that was from the show Friends. That one's a little weird to put on the RSA Instagram. So that probably won't make it. Just know that going forward um, that if you do like, a whole scene of, 
Well, Finding Nemo would apply because that's water. But if you did a scene from like Frozen, I'm probably not going to put it up on the Instagram. Maybe. If it's really, really good, I might. Um, but yes, so we're looking for your best entries. Uh, swimming related. It can be interactive like the Witterans uh, or RSA themed. Um, there's prizes for the best ones. All right. Now, Miss Hubbard is giving out these prizes. And if we know anything about Miss Hubbard, it's that she loves you guys and that she gives out the good stuff when it comes to prizes. Um, so you can win a prize. That's pretty sweet. And I'll let you in on a secret. All right. You can go to RSA and decorate the sidewalk there around the pool. Um, that would probably get you bonus points if you did it. So you can do like a, like a huge cobia mural that just takes up the side of the side, the side of the sidewalk. That is, that doesn't sound good at all. That covers up the entire sidewalk. Um, or you can do it at home, but I will tell you, if you go to the normal entrance of RSA right now, good luck. You're not getting in unless you have like a tank which is bizarre. It's, it's crazy right now. There's like a four foot ledge. You can't drive in there. Um, but go to the, the gym gate. So there's like a single gate uh, by the gym where the dumpster is. You can park there and then go to the sidewalk. Just don't mess with any of the gates because I don't want the police to come and take you to jail for having tripped the alarm. So don't mess with the gates. Just do the sidewalk. All right. Um, yeah. That's it. Do you guys have any questions? Any questions? Sonica, go ahead. What's your question? I don't have a question. Yeah, I know. I was just hoping somebody would talk except for me. Um, all right, Sonica, give us, give us some encouragement. Uh, I mean, I hope we get back in the water soon. Yep, me too. Very good. Sophia Guerra. Give us some Hello. encouragement. Something what? Sorry. Encouraging. Oh, um, they might, like, in North Carolina, they might lift the ban, so we might be able to, like, go out again. That would be nice. All right, decoy, All right, decoy. go ahead. Encourage us. Um, I don't know. Okay. Victoria. Please. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, Pulak, encourage us. Um, try to make the best out of quarantine. Like, don't mope around. And you should try the pineapple coconut pie. It's the best one. The mango coconut is good, too. <laughs> My wife likes the lime coconut one. Anything coconut's good. That is true. We have coconut everything. We have coconut muffins, like, always available at our house. Um, yeah. Uh, Pulak, that was very insightful, and we should just leave it there. But we have more people. Gav, Gav. Uh, stay inside and stay positive, I guess. Very good. All right, uh, Adam. You should learn Russian. That's a good thing to do during quarantine. Did you know that all astronauts have to be fluent in Russian? Yeah, in case the base get taken over by uh, Russia. <laughs> I don't know if that was it, but okay. Uh, what does Southern Joe have to tell us? Uh, just, just have fun. I mean, stay inside, but make the best of it. I don't know. All right. All right. Very good. Uh, all right, Sarah. Um, have fun and like try to do like new things like at home that's a good one so you're not very bored that's a good one addison uh like go like in your backyard or your front yard or like take a walk because it's really nice outside and it'll like keep up your morale and stuff what about our side yard <laughs> yeah you can do that too that works just kind of go outside have some fresh air. And yeah, like Sarah said, try something new. Nice. 
good at something you haven't done before. Yeah. Words of wisdom from the pre-senior group. Thank you. Uh, Swimmer Gavin. These are getting good. I was kind of going to say what Addison said, but, like, just – like stay outside like for a little bit like even if it's just in your backyard and do something like if you have like a ball or something like throw it with your family or something like that just try to make the best of it love it very good if you have a hammock put it up if you don't have a hammock get one most relaxing investment i've ever made in my life um and last but not least we have the witterans witterans give us some encouragement Bring us home. Um, take time to heal. heal injuries. Yeah, take time to heal injuries. That's a good one. Even if it's even if it's an injured heart, take time to heal it. Any anything else? All right. Um, if you ever feel lonely, you can always contact anybody in the Cobia group. That's great. Thank you, Maya. That was very, very good. Um, I love that. Uh, thank you for sharing that, Maya. If you ever feel lonely, talk, uh, talk to the um, Cobia group. Um, there's the Cobia group chat. Hopefully everybody's in it. If not, uh, somebody reach out to the winners. They're the last to have joined the group. So... Hopefully they, they have the uh, group chat. Uh, Winterins, give me a thumbs up if you're in that group chat with the rest. Okay, I don't see a thumbs up. It looks like Sarah is, uh, is trying to hook you up with the group chat. I don't know what goes on in there. I'm not in it because safe sport. Um, Sarah just rolled her eyes, so it's probably best that I'm not. Um, but hopefully it's fun. All right. Also, before we leave, I am so disappointed that on the GIF that you guys didn't stop on my name. Like Sarah stopped on Coach John. Pulak stopped on Coach John. Victoria stopped on Coach John. Ah, I coach you guys for nothing. I got Megan Coach Tyler. I oh, you got Megan? Yeah, that doesn't make me feel any better, Pulak. I work <laughs> – I worked so hard to make that, and I didn't get picked. All right. Well, I miss you guys. Uh, looking forward to seeing you all in the water again. Uh, keep practicing those exercises, and we'll get ready to throw down next week and get some people on the leaderboard. I want to see you guys win some T-shirts, uh, win some prizes for the chalk art. And until then, stay safe and stay sane.